watch you guys got another video windows 10 end of life what you need to know now there's been a quite a few videos i've watched about windows 10 end of life and some of those videos are actually saying that it's safe to continue to use windows 10 without security updates and their reasoning is because windows defender will still receive updates now that sort of information is quite dangerous and i'll tell you why because unpatched vulnerabilities on windows 10 is going to be a major issue so after windows 10 end of life any newly discovered vulnerabilities or security flaws will remain unpatched as microsoft will no longer provide security updates this leads the system exposed to potential exploits as cyber criminals will actively seek out and target unprotected systems even if you follow your simple uh, basic security practices such as using an antivirus software and firewall the lack of any official security updates from microsoft will significantly increase the risk of successful attacks now people telling you that you can continue to use windows 10 without security updates is crazy and we'll go into that in more detail after a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro or cheap windows 11 pro oem keys then check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital b capital r 09 and apply this to your order you'll get a 30 percent discount on all your purchases on cd key sales once you submit your order they will send you a key and you can activate your version of windows okay so let's go into more detail so let's take a look at the windows 10 update history windows 10 version 22 h2 update history as you can see there is a lot of updates on the left hand side right here you can see a huge list and this is just for 22 h2 now some of these are going to be security updates that are going to fix vulnerabilities that are on windows 10 and i'm just going to scroll through here so you can get a general idea of how many updates that microsoft have released to fixed vulnerabilities and known issues to their operating system now once windows 10 reaches end of life on october 15 2025 all of this will stop you will not receive any more security updates from microsoft Yes, they might still be giving you Windows Defender updates until 2028, but that's not going to protect you against zero day attacks. These exploits and previously unknown vulnerabilities in your software, firmware, or even hardware, meaning the vendor has zero days to create a patch before the vulnerability is publicly known. So without these security updates that you see here, you are going to be vulnerable so when people say you're not vulnerable that is coming from someone who has no security background whatsoever now these attacks are going to be dangerous because they bypass any traditional security measures that rely on known signature patterns i.e your antivirus programs without security patches from microsoft all of these you see listed here that are going up on the screen will not be sent to your PC anymore. And the list goes on and on, as you can see here. 21H2, 20H2, 2004 or 2004. We've got 1909, 1903, 1809. And the list goes on. And there's large lists of security updates for those particular builds. So you are not going to receive any more of those on your system. So when people say you'll be safe to use Windows 10 for the foreseeable future, they're delusional. And the reason why is because without those security patches, you are going to be vulnerable. And this is why Microsoft have pushed out uh, TPM 2.0 to enhance uh, security on Windows 11. So unknown vulnerabilities on Windows 10, the core of the zero day attack is exploiting a security flaw. So when Windows 10 doesn't receive any more security updates, 
uh, you're going to get no immediate patches from Microsoft because vulnerabilities that are unknown, there is no immediate fix or patch from Microsoft, which is going to help your system stay protected. This leaves your system vulnerable until the issue is identified by Microsoft and then they release a patch for it. So yes, Microsoft have done a U-turn and have now extended updates for their Windows Defender or Windows Security uh, built-in antivirus and also Office products like Microsoft uh, 365. Now, you are going to get an extended security updates for these till 2028. Uh, so that doesn't mean that you're going to get security updates for your operating system. And that is the most important part. So the information on Microsoft's website, as you can see here, it basically states that they've, in the interests of maintaining your security, while you upgrade to Windows 11, we will continue to provide security updates for Microsoft uh, 365 on Windows 10 for a total of three years after Windows 10 end of support ending on October 10th, 2028. So you will receive security updates for Microsoft Office 365 and also for Windows Defender or Windows Security. Not security updates or patches or anything for the operating system. That will be end of life for Windows 10 on October 14th, 2025. So there is your big update and security risk. So end of support timeline broken down here. You can see Windows 10 will still end on October 14th, 2025. Microsoft 365 apps and feature security updates and performance updates for Windows 10 will continue through October 2028. Perpetual Office licenses for Office 2021 supported on Windows 10 until October 2026. Office 2024 through October 2029 under the fixed lifecycle policy. Now, Windows Defender definitions, these are your malware definition updates, will be extended to October 2028. Now, does that mean you're going to be safe? Well, your Defender is an important part of Windows 10. So, yes, it's going to be beneficial to have those uh, Windows Defender definition updates, but that still doesn't make your system uh, safe from vulnerabilities like we talked about, like zero day attacks. These are really serious attacks and you have to be careful because at the end of the day, if they are not being patched, you are going to be at risk regardless of what people will tell you. So your best policy is to extend your security updates for Windows 10 for another year for $30, which Microsoft are offering and this is probably going to be your best policy. Uh, for $30, you're going to get another year of extended updates. Now, this could be extended even further, but we just don't know yet because this information has not been released by Microsoft. But you can see for individual Windows 10 home customers, the extended security updates for Windows 10 will be available for purchase for $30 for one year. And that says it right here where I'm highlighting. So paying $30 is probably going to be your best bet in my personal opinion. So this means that your system is going to be fully updated with security patches, which will stop a lot of uh, risk to your system. Now, the scary part is when YouTubers will start to promote uh, how safe it is to use Windows 10 even after security updates have ended. And this is really dangerous. You should not be doing this because at the end of the day, you are vulnerable to attack and you definitely don't want to be, you know, using Windows 10 without any sort of patches. Now, I know there's going to be people in the comments section that will say, you know, they're on Windows 7 or Windows XP and they've never had any issues. But that's like saying that I drive my car every day without a seatbelt on and I've never had an accident and nothing's happened to me. But it's there to prevent any sort of damage to you if you did have an accident because without the seatbelt, you'd go straight through the window. And that is why we have seatbelts. So at the end of the day, having security updates is a very important part of using Windows. And it's irresponsible of people to say, that you're not going to be vulnerable if you just use your computer without security updates. These people have no clue about security and what they're talking about. 
Now, if you have any sort of frequent questions, Microsoft have got a frequent ask questions page where you can go through here and it talks about what is Windows 10 end of support. And it also goes through uh, what can I do with my old computer and so on. There's a lot of useful information here for people that are not familiar with all this sort of stuff and how it works. And maybe they've not gone through the process of end of life for Windows XP and Windows 7 and Windows Vista and so on. And just to answer a few people's questions about what if I install, uh, you know, antivirus software like Bitdefender, which is premium security or total security, which has a firewall on it. And the short answer to that is no, because without patching the operating system, you're still going to be vulnerable to uh, zero day attacks and things like that. And I've talked about this before. So really, uh, it's entirely up to you whether you, uh, you know, continue to use Windows 10 without security updates. I'm pretty sure there's going to be people that are going to do that. But the majority and masses of people will upgrade to Windows 11 or purchase a new computer or use another operating system like Linux. Anyway, but that said... My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.